Hey everyone, my name is Keen. Welcome to my channel, Keen Speaks. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my journey on intermittent fasting and ketogenic diet. Now, in my opinion, this is the most important, the most powerful fat burning combo. You can also incorporate a HIIT workout. I'll get onto that shortly. If you want to lose weight, this is the combo for you. I started off this diet weighing in at 90 three kgs roughly about 200 pounds i currently weigh 76 kilos which is about 167 pounds now i'm going to break down and tell you exactly the dates of when this happened and the, and how long it took me to lose all of this weight now i'm going to be honest and say i wasn't consistent with the ketogenic diet uh, throughout i started this diet around october 2017 and i fell off the wagon a couple of times in between so basically, here's a photo of me on the screen now of when I was uh, over 205 pounds. This was in October of 2017 and I have a smile on my face in this one of these photos but I wasn't happy. And now here's a photo of me last week on the 1st of March weighing at 776 kgs thereabout. And I'm much happier. As you can see I gained a lot of muscle as I've been going to the gym as well. I wouldn't say a lot of muscle but it's considerable next to how flabby I was previously. So basically my diet consists of uh, one meal a day which will be a zero carb uh, meal with meat and greens. How I lost all of this weight is I was doing the warrior fast uh, which means you eat in a one hour window. With intermittent fasting you can eat in a, in a window of a few hours of a day so say like you skip breakfast altogether, you will eat at 1 p.m. until 6 p.m. That's what a lot of people do. But I wanted to do a warrior fast and the weight fell off me quickly. I went a long stretch without eating. I would eat around 8 p.m. after I would finish work and go to the gym. I did this for a reason simply because I wanted to work out fasted. There are two YouTube channels I recommend that explain fasted workouts and intermittent fasting. Uh, one being Thomas DeLauer and the other one being Dr. Berg. I will link both of those below. That's where I got all of my knowledge on intermittent fasting and ketogenic diet. Personally, I wouldn't do one without the other. I think they, they synchronize, they synergize perfectly. And if, you're, if you are overweight or obese, then this is what you need to do. As I said previously, I would fast all throughout work. I would go to the gym, uh, lift weights and do a HIIT workout and then I would eat when I went home. What I would eat was, this was consistent now, I would consistently go home and make a huge omelette with three or four eggs. I would use chorizo and cheddar cheese and that would be my only meal. Oh, and I would also incorporate some spinach as well, you know, to get those greens in, a lot of spinach. Now, I didn't take any multivitamins or supplements during this, which is probably unhealthy. The reason being, I would take a multivitamin drink in the mornings and I realized after a week it took me out of keto entirely. I guess there must have been some sugar in it or something, a lot of sugar in it. The start of the keto and intermittent fasting can be quite uh, difficult. The first three days are the hardest in my opinion. You do get into ketosis fairly quickly if you do it right. My tips for entering ketosis quickly would be to fast for the first day completely, like a water fast for 24 hours. Now this might not be attainable for you so uh, maybe you could have an omelette, you know, something small. The main thing you need to do to hit ketosis is uh, keep your fat intake fairly high. So you can have like a bulletproof coffee, which consists of like either MCT oil or butter or both. Now, I know that kind of contradicts the fact that I said I will do warrior fast, but uh, there's two kinds of fasting. There's a straight fast where you don't take in any calories at all, and there's fast where you would spike your insulin when you eat. Uh, MCT oil, like Bulletproof Coffee doesn't spike your insulin very high at all, if at all. I do think that uh, that counts as a fast also. Well, it, the proof is in the pudding. I d it did help speed up my weight loss incredibly. I took it quite seriously uh, from February onwards. I started measuring my ketones through my blood. I was using the urine ketone strips all along, but they started to become inefficient the deeper I got into ketosis. I tried to keep my uh, blood ketone levels around 3.5 nanomole per deciliters. I don't know what that is in the American um, conversion, 
but it's in the ideal range. The ideal range is between 1.5 nanomol per deciliters of ketones in your blood to about 3.5 nanomol per deciliters. And I stayed around 3.5 consistently. When I went up around 5, I would incorporate maybe a small bit of carbs like a protein bar which will have around 15 grams of carbs just to bring down my blood ketone levels a little bit because if your ketone levels are too high you can damage your liver and nobody wants to get jaundice. That's pretty much everything I have to talk about right now. Um, just wanted to show the results you can attain from uh, a ketogenic and intermittent fasting based diet. I will make a final uh, keto transformation video eventually when I get down to my ideal weight which is around 70 kilos. If you're interested in more self-help and self-improving videos, you're at the right channel. I'd advise you to subscribe. I'm going to be making videos about uh, semen retention, no fap, ketogenic diet and just attaining your goals as a, as a person. So if you enjoyed, subscribe and I'll see you soon.